Hi, everyone. Welcome. And thank you so much for tuning in. I am just really grateful and humbled and excited to have the opportunity to share from my heart what I am being guided to share with you in this now moment. With that being said, there are infinite expressions of how to touch on this, and words are so limiting anyways. But this is just one perspective, and as always, take what resonates and throw the rest out. And before I get into the, the topic of the video, I just want to invite you to, first first of all, anything that you see, not just my content, but anything you see in books that really resonate with you, sit in meditation or in contemplation and further unveil and unravel what they mean for you. And if you were to do this, Please feel free to share what is unraveled for you in the comment section below and share, you know, the tools that has aided you in navigating this journey. Maybe you feel called to share your personal experience. There's something to be said about uh, community sharing and, and just know that this is a, this is a beautiful space to come together during this time and really share with our hearts and full transparency and vulnerability and, and, and allow for things to organically unfold. And secondly, if you feel called, closing your eyes and breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth and participating in this video differently than you have normally participated in videos. Don't watch it. Don't let the mind intellectually unravel word for word what is being said. Drop to your heart center and just feel. Feel through this. Feel what's being said beyond the words. And if you prefer not to, that's fine as well. As I said, this is just an invitation. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing, discerning if you're navigating through an experience disassociating or if you're navigating an experience in full presence. I'm going to start with disassociating and I'm going to start with the personal experiences, two personal experiences. As I said, there are infinite expressions, but these, this is what's coming to the forefront for me. So the first, the first experience was participating through trauma, right? Trauma is one way that we disassociate and the minds create, you know, a compartment that goes deep in the subconscious to, you know, as a safety net so that we don't see it and that we, that way we can move through, you know, feeling safe and functioning in reality. AKA, you know, stuffing down feelings and, you know, and anything that all the wisdom that could be gained from an experience, we just completely close off from it. And during these times, not everything is coming to the surface. It's all coming to the light, which is what I, what I experienced and what, what prompted this video. So as I said, I, how I experienced my trauma as a young child, I experienced mental, physical, emotional, and uh, sexual abuse. And, you know, I had some awareness to the degrees of the physical abuse, but I didn't have the full picture of everything else that took place. And one day I was sitting with an individual and I was sharing with them, like, wow, I'm finding so much resonance with the star seed and, and the light workers. And not so much needing to identify as them, but there was something within my soul that knew like I came here to embody my highest and loving best expression of myself to be in the greatest service to all seen and unseen in accordance to unified consciousness, unconditional love, neutrality, and the highest prime source creator. And as I was sharing with this person, you know, but I don't, I don't think that this is, you know, this is who I am because a lot of these beings come here to experience a huge range of polarity. And in other words, they came here 
and they had an experience upbringing or an adult life. And, you know, they just kind of smiled and allowed for that conversation to unfold. But the reason why I'm sharing that part of the story is because at this point in time, uh, which was two years ago or three years ago, I truly didn't realize that, you know, what the full totality of my childhood and my upbringing and everything and all the wellsprings of experiences that came with it. And so fast forward, and as I mentioned to you, we're in a time now where humanity is shifting and evolving consciously. And everything is coming to the surface for for personally, all the suppressed emotions and traumas and anything that's no longer serving you is coming up to be looked at, to be integrated and to create space for the new to come in. And, and then it just dawned on me, wow. You know, first of all, I just, I need to touch on, because this is one of the tools that aided me in navigating through this association, right? As like breath plus intention plus present presence plus consistency equals profound miracles. And so that's literally what the process was. I set the intention of like, okay, I, I you know, let me, I'm ready to do some inner work. Show me what's, what's not been looked at, what needs to come into balance. And as this unveiled itself, I realized how tricky disassociation could look. I, and I had no idea that that was taking place. And another way that this unfolded for me on my journey as I had part, participated in some form of a narcissist in a relationship. And as we all probably know or have experienced in one way or another that narcissists they see things the way that they want to see it, right? It, it's all about them. And so two people can go through an experience. And from the narcissist's perspective, what took place is what took place from their, their, their created reality, nothing else. And for the other person who experienced it, they're, they don't have such a tight bandwidth or, you know, a tight pigeon, pigeonhole, if you will, of a perspective they're looking at the person like, what are you talking about? And as they've disassociated from, you know, from anything outside of their narrative, they weren't seeing their thoughts and their emotions and their actions that were being projected, causing suffering to, uh, um, to themselves and to the others. Uh, and so, You know, I think that's a beautiful segue of moving into full presence because when you're operating at a full presence, you are in you're in neutrality, you're in the zero point, you have access to the everything and the no thing. And so you your lens of perception goes from that of the victimizer or narcissist or a victim or what other anything other than identifying as your core essence to that of seeing everything that's going on. So in that situation, if that person was identifying in full presence, they could simply see that this person is completely act, you know, acting out of disassociation. And one of the beautiful things that I mentioned is that when you're in full presence, you're in neutrality. And in neutrality unfolds everything else that's within it because everything is one. So you have unconditional love, you have compassion, you have patience, you have forgiveness, you have so much more and in full presence you are able to navigate by participating in an experience but not getting tangled up and in doing so you're able to implement tools of compassion and not judging the individual and in just by simply being in a state of neutrality you hold the space for the narcissist or the person who's disassociating to come into greater awareness of what they're doing rather than the, the, the traditional route when the person is not in full presence and they're judging them and being like, wow, you're such an X, Y, and Z and you're completely disassociating and, you know, basically taking on the victim role. Um, it creates, you know, you, you're playing with fire against fire. You're creating more fire. Right. So full presence is just that's the alchemical process of being able to 
move through on you know scotch free and and i highlight the the part where you're holding space for the other individual as well to come into realization and if they don't come into it in that now moment it, you've you've planted a seed so much is taking place beyond you know that now moment in the physical what's being said and how it's gone through because down the road maybe it's the the next partner or the next in, you know interaction with the with the being that they're they're still participating in their in their um cycles of self sabotage without them even knowing it it will that seed will sprout and they will be like whoa wait a minute here let me just i'm real i feel like and then they'll just have this whole aha moment of like how they've been participating in a certain way so Full presence is such a profound state of being. And, you know, if you're watching this, your higher self is inviting you to sit with this and feel into how you can come more into full presence. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. If you are interested in knowing more, learning more tools and and um, discovering different ways of how you can come more into full presence you can visit my website awakening source within.com i'm leaving the website and any links relevant to this video down below in the description box and if you have any comments questions uh, or if you're wanting to share your experiences as mentioned in the beginning of the video please leave them down in the comment section and in the in my website you can also connect with me there and and just see where this unfolds as we are in such a pivotal and magical time it's important to remember that you're not alone and that this this is a this is an incredible time so let's let's not step into this in full presence and until the next now moment i am sending you all so much love namaste